Hey folks, Phil the Bee Man here. I have dropped in on a beekeeping friend. Here we have Hans. And uh, he is showing me his fancy queen nuke setup. These are stands and then two frame nukes. Tell us about it. Yeah, this, uh, the stand in the first place is for that I don't have to bend over. I am too lazy to do that. And then these two frame nukes is a fairly simple system. It is a little box but two normal uh, length throw frames fit in. And uh, starting in, in, high, in a, a new uh, colony in here, it is mostly the idea to have um, cells being put with an, uh, one, one, for, one frame one of brood, brood and one, one frame of bees. Of bees. Yeah. Yeah. And then you put the cell in there and then you have the option of putting a feeder yeah. on top as a lid. The bees can come up through here, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you either liquid or, or it looks like you've got a pollen patty there. Yeah. We, we use pollen patties, and but we have not used the, the feeding very much yet yeah. because we were too late in the year and there was plenty of feed yeah. for the okay. bees to get. Yeah. So okay. I, I didn't need it, but it and, can, it can be used. And then you've got the different uh, colors so the queens can find their way. And then how many of these are, could you unite with uh, a queen excluder? Three you of them? Four, four of them are identical to a queen excluder. Five, yeah. Okay, so the eight frames would be the same size as a 10 frame box. Yes. Yeah. And the rest, the rest of the room is taken up by, by, the, by, the, by the boards. Okay. So and it's, up to now it has worked well, but we haven't had all of them yet in use. Great. And then so as you're working them, you would do one, lit it up, and then reach over to work the next one, and, and so on, right? Yeah, well, yeah. absolutely. So you'd have to work one, two, three, four from one side, and then four from the other? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, here's one of those frames. Well, there's one of frames, yeah. So you can see two frames fit in there with a little bit of room to, yeah. Yeah. to, to work, yep. That was basically the most, the diff, the most difficult part. <laughs> to, get, to get two frames and have enough room is basically yes. almost too many. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, like in a 10 frame box, all of those frames can squeeze up a little bit and you've got room to move. Yeah. When you're doing a narrow box, you don't have that same... I'm sure we are violating the bee room. But if you manage the population well, it should be okay. Although, if you ran those as all summer, let them build up and have two or three honey supers on them, you'd, you'd probably find it get pretty yeah, well, messy not, in the book. That's not the objective. Yeah. The objective is the easy start, and if you make queens or make, yeah. cell, make cells, you know, the one time you have more luck than the other one, and all of a sudden when you have a bunch of cells, you don't have the place for them to go. Yeah. And here we only have to violate our production highs a little bit yeah. to take only one frame of brood up. Yeah, I think uh, in Manitoba having queens available when your bees are ready for them, the timing is very difficult yeah. right? because we have a very short spring season to do all that work. Yeah. And if you have one or two runs that are not really good, they're almost out of luck. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first thing we found that's really cool here. We'll do another video if we find anything else. Thanks a lot, everyone.